So it's a beautiful sunny day and uh, we have uh, uh, you know our refractor out and I've got my eclipse glasses on and I've got my safe solar filter. Of course the eclipse is not here yet but um, I wanted to take a few minutes just to show you some things about uh, solar filter safety. Uh, the filters that we use is the uh, Thousand Oaks material. It is uh, rated to the highest uh, ISO standards um, and uh, ind actually independently tested by us as well. So just to make sure that those standards are met. So if you're going to use a telescope to look at the partial phases, and par the, let me underline partial phases to you, you use eclipse glasses to observe the sun in partial phases when it's uh, in total, if you're going to be on the path of totality, you can take the glasses off and only during that time, which is going to be roughly two minutes this time on August 21st, only during that time can you directly look up at where the sun is because it's completely blocked out. You'll see the corona, you'll see you know, lots of really cool effects that will they'll leave you speechless. But during all the partial phases, you have to have safe solar filtration. So how do you do it uh, properly? Uh, let me show you. First off, let's show you what you shouldn't do. What you shouldn't do is put on eclipse glasses and look through the telescope that's unfiltered. Uh, and I'll show you exactly why here. We're going to point the telescope directly at the sun. And right now, we have sunlight coming right through the eyepiece. Um, and I can turn that up a little bit. If you use solar glasses, and look right at the filter material, you see it's already burning. It's burning a hole right through the solar filter material. That is how powerful a telescope is. So this is definitely something you don't want to do. You can now see that there is a hole through there and that could be your eye. So this is what can happen if you think that you can use eclipse glasses to look through unfiltered telescopes or binoculars. If you do that, uh, the sun's energy is going to burn right through the filter and burn right into your eye. So if you're going to use a telescope or a pair of binoculars to watch the partial phases of a total eclipse or just to observe the sun to look for sunspots or something like that, uh, make sure that you are using an over-the-lens solar filter that has the uh, proper ISO safety rating and all of that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this filter on. It's, uh, you can see how snugly it's fitting here. This is not about to come off, uh, uh, but uh, you know, if you have a loose fitting filter, use tape. Do anything that you can to make sure that the filter is not going to come off. Um, and then the, the other thing is too, is that uh, finder scopes, um, uh, optical finder scopes are like little telescopes and they need to be filtered as well. In this case, I just have a red dot finder. There is no um, magnifying power to it, so I'm not gonna use it to sight the sun in. The way I'm gonna sight in the sun is literally as I'm, I'm gonna look down at the shadow and align the scope up so I'm getting the smallest shadow possible of the telescope as it's hitting the ground. And now I can safely look at the sun in comfort and look at sunspots, and if we have partial phases going on in the eclipse, I'll see them all. 